Just imagine a deadly encounter between the Hadzabe tribe and a dangerous leopard. With their lives on the line, the tribe members must rely on their ancient wisdom and unmatched skills to outsmart the predator. In this gripping tale of survival, we unravel the extraordinary tactics employed by the Hadzabi tribe to emerge victorious. Watch till the end and subscribe for more such videos about the Hadzabi tribe. Here we begin. Leopards are fascinating and powerful creatures that inhabit various parts of Africa. They belong to the big cat family and are known for their agility, camouflage, and solitary nature. With their sleek bodies and beautiful spotted coats, leopards are among the most iconic animals found in the African wilderness. African leopards are primarily found in sub-Saharan Africa, although their range also extends to other regions. They are incredibly adaptable and able to survive in various habitats, including grasslands, forests, mountains, and even deserts. Leopards are highly skilled climbers and are often spotted resting in the branches of trees during the day. These trees are their vantage points, offering safety and a good view of the surrounding area. Hunting behavior of leopards. Leopards are known for their stealth and cunning hunting techniques. They are solitary hunters, relying on their incredible strength and agility to take down their prey. Their diet mainly consists of medium-sized mammals, such as antelopes, gazelles, baboons, monkeys, etc. However, they are opportunistic predators and can also hunt birds, reptiles, and smaller animals. When a leopard hunts, it patiently stalks its prey, blending its exceptional camouflage into the surroundings. The leopard relies on its powerful muscles and sharp claws to silently ambush the unsuspecting prey. With a burst of speed, it pounces on its target, aiming for a quick and precise bite to the throat to suffocate the prey. The leopard then drags its kill into the safety of a tree away from potential scavengers and other predators. Leopard attacks in Africa. Leopard attacks on humans are relatively rare, but can occur, especially in areas where human settlements encroach upon their natural habitat. These attacks often happen when leopards feel threatened or cannot find their natural prey. Although leopards generally avoid humans, conflicts can arise when their territories overlap with villages or farms. When a leopard attacks a human, it can have devastating consequences. Leopards are incredibly strong, and their sharp teeth and claws can cause severe injuries or even death. However, such attacks are still uncommon, and most leopards prefer to avoid confrontation with humans whenever possible. Impact on African Tribes Leopard attacks can significantly impact the lives of African tribes living near leopard or hunting habitats. These attacks threaten the safety and livelihoods of the local communities, resulting in human fatalities or severe injuries within tribal communities. African tribes often rely on farming, herding livestock, or gathering resources from the wild to sustain their way of life. When leopards attack livestock, it can lead to economic losses and a decrease in food security for the affected communities. Moreover, tribes that rely on hunting animals in the wild also get affected as their food gets trapped and hunted by a leopard. Besides this, leopard attacks can instill fear and anxiety within tribal communities, particularly among vulnerable groups such as children and the elderly. The constant threat of attacks can affect people's daily lives, limiting their freedom to move, work, and engage in activities outside their settlements. In response to leopard attacks, some African tribes have implemented measures to protect themselves and their livestock. They may build reinforced enclosures for their animals, use guard dogs, or organize community patrols to deter leopards from approaching human settlements. Additionally, some tribes have sought assistance from conservation organizations and government agencies to find sustainable solutions that promote coexistence between humans and leopards. But how does the Hadzabe tribe survive a leopard attack? Deep within the vast wilderness of Tanzania, the Hadzabe tribe resides in hunting areas where encounters with dangerous predators are not uncommon. This ancient tribe has flourished for centuries, adapting to the challenging conditions of their hunting grounds. A crucial aspect of their daily lives is the constant threat of wildlife encounters, including dangerous predators, such as leopards. These resilient people have honed their survival skills for centuries, relying on their profound knowledge of the land and their hunting techniques, primarily using the bow and arrow. So how do they survive a leopard attack? Firstly, 
They live in such hunting areas. The Hadzabe tribe's existence revolves around the hunting grounds they inhabit. These areas are known for their diverse wildlife, which includes various predators like leopards. Consequently, the tribe has become intimately familiar with the dangers and challenges of coexisting with these creatures. The Hadzabe have honed their survival skills and developed a profound understanding of the environment in which they reside. Secondly, they have incredible hunting skills that help them in surviving the attack. One of the primary factors that aided the Hadzabe tribe in surviving the leopard attack was their exceptional hunting techniques. The tribe primarily relies on a bow and arrow, their principal weapon, for securing sustenance. The Hadzabe have perfected their archery skills over generations, enabling them to deliver precise shots with deadly accuracy. During the leopard attack, the Hadzabe hunters rapidly responded, utilizing their exceptional marksmanship to defend themselves. Their adeptness with the bow and arrow allowed them to maintain a safe distance from the predator while delivering accurate shots to deter and neutralize the threat. The tribe's proficiency with hunting tools was vital in warding off the leopard and preserving their safety. And they also use fire as a deterrent. Fire is a valuable tool in the Hadzabe's arsenal, serving as both a source of warmth and a deterrent against predators. The tribe members strategically use fire to ward off potential threats, including leopards. Moreover, the Hadzabe tribe's remarkable knowledge of their environment proved instrumental in surviving the leopard attack. Living in hunting areas for generations has provided them with an intimate understanding of the behaviors, habitats, and hunting patterns of the wildlife surrounding them. This knowledge grants them a distinct advantage when facing encounters with predators. Their familiarity with the area allowed the Hadzabe to anticipate the leopard's movements, identify potential escape routes, and benefit from natural features. By leveraging their knowledge of the terrain, the tribe members maneuvered themselves into a more advantageous position during the attack, further ensuring their survival. Besides this, they carry a calm and confident approach. The Hadzabe tribe's calm and confident demeanor in the face of danger played a significant role in their survival during the leopard attack. Their daily lives revolve around hunting, and they have grown accustomed to the inherent risks involved. This experience has instilled within them a sense of composure and self-assurance. When confronted by the leopard, the Hadzabe hunters maintained their composure, avoiding any sudden movements that could trigger aggression from the predator. Their calm and confident approach helped diffuse the situation's tension and allowed them to think strategically, executing their defensive measures with precision. Moreover, they possess another advantageous strategy, group cohesion. The tribe members work cohesively, ensuring that no individual is left vulnerable to an attack. By sticking together and maintaining a tight-knit group, they create a formidable defense against predators. With this, they maintain a constant awareness during their hunting expeditions, remaining vigilant for signs of potential threats. This acute awareness enables them to identify danger before it becomes an immediate threat. So, what do you think about the Hadzabe tribe's approach to surviving a leopard's attack? Comment below your views and subscribe for more such videos.